Hi everyone, here's today's story, Babar Loses His Crown by Laurent D. Brunhoff. Don't forget, make sure you take your AR when you're done listening. The number is 144137. And here's today's story, Babar Loses His Crown. The Babar family is going to Paris. Everyone is packing bags. Here are the children, Palm, Flora, and Alexander. Here are cousin Arthur and his friend Zephyr the monkey. Can you see him right here? Queen Celeste and King Babar pack their crowns. Babar puts on his crown in a little red bag. Now the Babar family is on the train. The train is coming into Paris. I'll show you everything, says Babar. You'll, you will love Paris. Now they are off the train with all their bags. The Babar family is waiting for a taxi. The taxi takes them to their hotel. Celeste and the children walk inside. Babar tells the porter, be careful with that little red bag. My crown is in it. In their hotel room, Celeste opens all the bags. Last of all, she opens the little red one. Look, she cries, what is this? A flute? Babar, this is not your bag. My crown, it's lost, cries Babar. My crown is gone. I think I know what happened, says Zephyr. When we were waiting for the taxi, I saw a man beside us, a man with a mustache. He must have taken your bag. I need my crown, says Babar. I must wear it tonight. Don't worry, says Celeste. We'll find that mustache man. We'll look all over Paris until we do. So out they go, looking for the man with Babar's bag. He may be up in the Eiffel Tower, says Celeste. All visitors to Paris go up there. Now they are up in the Eiffel Tower, but the man with Babar's bag is not. Look at the boats down there, the children shout. Let's go for a ride. And you can see the boats down here in the river. Babar is sad, but he goes along. A boat is ready to take off. Captain, wait for us, shout the children. They climb aboard. The boat is going toward a bridge. Suddenly, Zephyr shouts, Babar, look! Up on the bridge! The mustache man! He is there with your bag! The children all shout, Captain, stop! Stop the boat! Let us off! And right up there, you can see the man. Oops, there he is. With the red bag. The boat does not stop. So Arthur dives off. I'll catch him, he cries. I'll catch that mustache man. Arthur climbs out of the water just as fast as he can. He is all wet. He sees the man with the bag. But Arthur calls to him, but the man does not hear him. He is walking away. And there he goes with the red case. Arthur runs after him. He waves. He yells, Come back, mister. You have Babar's crown. But now the man is on a bus. The bus goes down the street. Now the mustache man is gone. Uh-oh, I wonder what they're going to do now. Let's turn the page and find out. Arthur is standing in the sun to dry his clothes. Suddenly, he sees the whole family. They come running toward him. I'm so glad to see you, he says. But the red bag, it got away. There's another red bag, shouts Alexander. He points to a man sitting on a chair. The man is giving crumbs to the birds. Papa, that bag looks just like yours. Yes, it may be my crown bag, Babar says, but we must be sure it is the man with the mustache. 
They watch the man a long time. I'm sure it's the mustache man, says Zephyr. And Zephyr, see him? He's up here in the tree. The Babar family circles around him. Babar says, ahem. The man looks up. He is not the mustache man at all. Oh, excuse us, says Babar. We thought you were someone else. Now it is noon. It is time for lunch. Babar takes them to a sidewalk restaurant. But Babar can't eat. He's, he is thinking about his crown. He needs it tonight. He must wear it to the opera. But how can he? He fears his crown is gone forever. Look how sad he looks. Then Arthur jumps up from the table. There he is, yells Arthur, the man with your crown. The man is getting into a red taxi. He has a little red bag in his hand. Quick, shouts Babar, we'll chase him, we'll chase him. The Babar family is in two taxis. Follow that red one, they all shout. A policeman whistles, but they ra race right past him. But now a red light. They have to stop. They are stuck. They can't move. The red taxi is gone. Poor Babar. His crown is lost again. They get out in front of a market. I guess we'll have to forget about my crown, sighs Babar. So the children begin to run and play. They race around. They hide behind boxes. Then they see another man with a small red bag. All the children rush after him. Arthur knocks over a box of apples. Zephyr knocks over a box of fish. And there's the red bag right there. Now the whole Babar family chases the man with the bag down the stairs of the subway. They all follow him shouting, Stop, please, Mr. Mustache! Too late. Stuck again. The gates at the bottom of the stairs snap shut. Bring back my crown, shouts Babar. But the man gets on a train and the train goes away. Sadly, they come up from the subway. Babar says nothing. He is very, very sad and the children are very tired. Celeste says, we'll put the children to bed in the hotel. Then we'll leave them and go to the opera. Back in their hotel room, they say goodnight to the children. The three littlest ones are already half asleep. Celeste has put on her best dress. She tells Babar to wear her crown. Thank you, he says, but it's too small. I will go with no crown at all. They arrive at the big opera house. It is all lighted up. They see hundreds of people going inside. Oh my, sighs Babar. All those people will see me, me, the king, without a crown. I just can't go in there. Then bang, a man bumps into Babar. A man with a bag, the mustache man. See the two red cases? Then they open their bags and Babar says, I can wear a crown, but I can't wear a flute. The mustache man smiles and says, I can play a flute, but I can't play a crown. It turns out to be a great night after all. The crown is on the head of the king. And the flute is under the mustache man's mustache. And here's the mustache man playing the flute for the opera. And there's Babar up in the watching the opera. That's the end of today's story. Don't forget, take your AR. It is number 144137. And the title is Babar Loses His Crown. Have a great day, everyone.